Meal Planning Mama here. Lots going on in the kitchen this morning. I'm actually making supper for a couple of friends tonight. So I'm making friendship casserole. It's my own variation of the recipe from Mommy's Kitchen. And in this pot, I have two packages of egg noodles boiling. And over here, I have a couple of sticks of butter cut into cubes. And I'm also sending a copycat version of Olive Garden Salad to my friends. And so I stuck, let me see if you can see this. I stuck a gallon size Ziploc bag down in a measuring, a large mouthed measuring cup just so I could hold it open so I could layer some things in it. And in this bag so far, I have cucumber, tomato, pepperoncinis, black olives, and red onions sliced really, really thin. And I'm going to put the salad greens on top. And then that way they don't have to wash any dishes that I'm sending and worry about returning them. They can just dump the salad out in a big bowl, toss it together. And I'm also going to send them some dressing to go along with this and some croutons. So that's what I'm working on so far. And I'll show you how I put together the friendship casserole. Now I've added some garlic granules and some onion powder to the butter, and I'm getting ready to shred up some Parmesan cheese. This is what the Parmesan cheese looks like that I'm using, and yes, you can use the kind and the can, but it's not the same. So I wanted it to be extra special, and I usually, normally, I don't, we don't even own any Parmesan cheese in the can. I buy this, and then I put it in a high-powered blender or mixer or food processor, whatever you have, and chop it up really finely. And I'll show you what that looks like. And here's the Parmesan cheese, all ground up. And I'm going to dump it over into the bowl where the butter and seasonings are. And there's a better look at the consistency of the cheese. Now I'm going to add the egg noodles into all of this and toss it really well so that it gets incorporated. And here it is, all mixed up with the egg noodles and now I'm going to start getting the pans ready so that I can get this in the pans and show you how it looks like because we have another layer that we have to do as well and I'm actually making three of these tonight because we're going to have this for supper too but right now I'm just working on the two so now on to the next step now I have the egg noodle mixture in two disposable aluminum pans and these are great if you're taking a meal to a friend to put them in a disposable pan so then that's less dishes they have to worry about cleaning up. So now on to the next step. So now I have about four pounds of grass-fed beef in the skillet that I'm getting ready to brown up and I'm not going to use all this for the two. I'm actually going ahead and browning what I need for the casserole that I'm going to make our family tonight too. So I'm just going to cook it all at one time. All right, I have the salad kits ready to go. I have the two bags of salad, and then I'm sending a bag of croutons for each family. And then I have some salad dressing in this mason jar. I think one of the families already has the Olive Garden salad dressing, but I'm gonna double check, and if they don't, I'll send them some in a mason jar as well. So salad kits are complete. Okay, ground beef is done, so now I'm getting ready to add it to this spaghetti sauce over here. And here's the spaghetti sauce, and I used a really high quality organic spaghetti sauce for this, but you can use homemade as well, so I'm going to combine the two. Okay, the meat is mixed in, and now I'm getting ready to layer it on top of the egg noodle meat. Okay, I've layered the meat mixture, and now I'm getting ready to top both of these with mozzarella cheese. Okay, I shredded some mozzarella cheese and topped both casseroles with that. Now I'm going to cover them with foil, and I will bake them off later. I'm also sending a loaf of homemade bread to each family and a fudge pie, as well as their salad kits. So I will show you what the finished product looks like whenever I'm done baking it off, and now I need to get busy on the friendship casserole that I'm making for our family supper. And here's what it looks like, all finished up. We've already dug into it. It's really yummy, and it's just as good reheated. For the complete recipe, I will post the link in the description box, box down below, and you can click on that and go there, and I will have all of the ingredients listed. 
So if you'd like to try it, you can.